actually not his own original Auckland land. You remember the land which was sold to Madivani. They were the people who first grabbed that land and later on the land was compensated to the people who had grabbed that land. So that means he is already compensated out of that land of which he has rented again to the Balalu. He has rented land which does not belong to him now. The land belongs to Madivani because he has already been compensated. So if that penwi goes to the report, you should know that it is a fake information. But, but maybe just on penwi. One, penwi comes from Koch. Here, not here. No, it comes from Koch. Just here, Koch. Koch. Not Koch. 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 I want us to find out whether anybody in Kodungaho, whether there is anybody in Kodungaho who owns 10,000 acres. Kodungaho is just here, after Kwe. Whether there is one single soul who owns 10,000 acres. You see, if we want to solve problems, we should not bring masquerade. People who masquerade to be. Right? Secondly, Penwi has rented out land in Lakau. Land that has already been compensated by government for the sugar project. It was paid, it was compensated. It's re actually, that is defrauding government. Correct. If government had decided that that land be rented out, that should be uh, revenue to government. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's fraud, total fraud. All right? Total fraud. I am told they are landowners. I, really, landowners in actually. Thank <laughs> you.